Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the first intermediate grade for the second semester of this year. Our subject, as you know, is the English language from the book Full Plus Two. Our lesson for today is 1C, you are what you eat. This is the second part. So today we have grammar, listen and write. This whole presentation is prepared and it will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani. So, first of all, thank you very much, all of you, for being with me. It's a pleasure to be with brilliant students like you. The second thing, I want to make sure that you understand our book is full plus two. It is not super goal. It is full plus two. Okay? This is our book that we will discuss today. The third and the most important thing, I want to ask you something. Everyone. Are you ready to begin our lesson? Very nice, let's go! Today we will learn the first thing, how much and how many? And what is the difference between how much and how many? When can we use how much and when can we use how many? The second thing, listen to a conversation. So uh, we will have a conversation that we will listen to and try to do some questions about this conversation. So we will try to listen and understand at the same time. The third and the last thing, which is to write about eating habits. So we will try to write about eating habits and we will learn how to write, how to make sentences, how to make a small paragraph and so on. The first thing, grammar. As we said, we will talk about how much and how many. Let's see. We use how much plus uncountable nouns. So, how much we use it with uncountable nouns. So, how much we use it with uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns come after how much. Okay? So, uncountable nouns. It should be after how much. We have to put how much before uncountable nouns. For example, let's take an example. Okay. How much lemonade have we got? Okay. How much lemonade? This is liquid. It's just like a juice. Okay. It's just like a juice. So we used how much. Okay. How much lemonade have we got? about two bottles two bottles because it's liquid it's just like water it's just like milk and so on it's liquid lemonade it's juice which comes from lemon okay uh, the second thing we use how many with countable nouns countable nouns okay countable nouns but it should it should be plural okay so we use how many okay with countable nouns how many it should be before countable nouns how many should be before countable nouns how many then countable nouns okay and don't forget the countable nouns should be plural this one should be plural okay this one should be plural Okay. Very nice. For example, for example, how many apples do you eat a day? So, apples is countable. I can count it. One apple, two apples, three apples, four apples. Okay? It's countable. Because of that, we used how many before that. Okay? How many apples? How many apples? Okay? So, in general, in general, we have to use how many and how much with questions. We use it with questions. With questions. Can you see it? This one is a question. And this one also is a question. Okay? This one, how much? This one, how much? Because it's uncountable. Lemonade, uncountable, just like water, just like milk, and so on. And how many with apples? Because it's countable. I can count it. 
one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, and so on. Okay? So this is it. Let's go to the next. Evaluation. Complete with how much or how many? Let's see. Number one. So we have questions. Can you see them? All of them questions. And you want to complete them with how much or how many? Number one. Water do you drink a day? Water. So you know you have to look at this one. It's very important. Water. Is it countable or uncountable? What do you think? Uncountable. So we have to say how much? How much? Very nice. Next, number two. Onions have we got? Onions. Onions. It's plural, okay? One onion, two onions, three onions, so four onions, and so on. So we have to say how many exactly? How many onions have we got? Number three, chairs are there in the kitchen. Chairs, countable or uncountable? Countable chairs. Can, can you see the S? How many? Number four, orange juice is there in the fridge. Hmm, orange, it's, un, it's countable. Orange is countable. One orange, two oranges, three oranges. But you know, we have here juice. Orange juice. This is very important. We said juice. It's not orange. It's orange juice. Juice is uncountable. Just like water, just like lemonade. Do you remember the lemonade? Uh, just like milk and so on. So we have to say... How much? Very nice. Number five, cups of coffee does Julia drink every day? Mm, what do you think? Coffee is uncountable. Uncountable. But cups, one cup, two cups, three cups, yes, it is countable. So we have to say, how many cups of coffee does Julia drink every day? Number six, the last one, tea. Do British people drink tea? Can we count the tea? Mm, it's liquid, just like milk, just like water, just like lemonade, just like juice. So we have to say, how much tea do British people drink? Okay, very nice. Go to pages from 135 to 137 for extra grammar practice. If you want to practice more, if you want more exercise, go to pages from 135 to 137. Listen, listen to a survey and answer the questions. Answer the questions. So we have to listen first. After, after that, we will go to these questions. Listen, everyone. Four, listen. Listen to a survey and answer the questions. Hello, can I ask you some questions for a survey? Sure. Thanks. What do you usually have for breakfast on weekdays? Well, on weekdays, I always have cereal. What about the weekend? The same. I just love cereal. OK. Do you eat a lot of fruit and vegetables? Well, I eat an apple every day and I sometimes eat a banana too. What about vegetables? I don't like vegetables at all, but I sometimes have a salad with my lunch. I see. Let's move on to water. How much do you drink every day? Um, I'm not sure. OK. Let me help you. Do you drink a big bottle of water? No, I only drink a small bottle, I think. That's about two glasses. That sounds right, but I need to drink more, I think. You're right. Water is very good for you, you know. Yes, I know. The next question is about chocolate. Mmm. How much chocolate do you eat? A lot, right? Yeah, I eat about one bar a day. Wow, that's seven bars a week. That's a lot. I know. OK, just one more question. Very nice. Beautiful conversation or survey. 
between the man and the boy. So let's see question number one. What does the boy have for breakfast at the weekend? What do you think? What does the boy have for breakfast at the weekend? Very nice. Cereal. Exactly. Number two. What does the boy like? Fruit or vegetables? Hmm. He eats one of them more than the other. What do you think? What does the boy like? Fruit or vegetables? Fruit. Exactly. He eats fruit every day, almost every day, but vegetables, he doesn't like them. Number three, how much water does the boy drink every day? Okay, how many glasses or you can say how many, what is the size of the bottle that he drinks every day? Excellent, a small bottle of water or you can say two glasses of water. Number four, how many chocolate bars does the boy eat every week? Okay, I'm saying every week, not every day, every week. This is very important, you have to be careful. Very nice, seven, seven bars a week, seven bars a week. So that means he said uh, one bar a, a day, one bar a day. Excellent. Right. Write a few sentences about the eating habits of one of your classmates. So I want you to choose one of your classmates and try to his eating habits. His eating habits. Your friend's eating habits. For example, you, you can say he drinks or if, it, uh, if you are a girl and your friend is a girl, so you have to say she drinks okay uh, he drinks six glasses of water a day he or she never eats and so on okay so i want you to make as many sentences as you can i will give you an example a small example let's see he drinks four glasses of water a day he never drinks milk he eats fruit every day he doesn't like vegetables and so on so, as you see, I wrote about water, milk, fruit, vegetables. You can write about, uh, does he like chicken or not? How many, uh, how much chicken does he eat every day? Uh, also, the meats, pasta, pizza, anything, any eating habits that he likes, okay? Uh, so, maybe, maybe if you want to write about kapsa or traditional meal that uh, you know about, you can write about it. So the most important thing, I want you to write as many sentences as you can. 10, 15, 20, even 50 if you can. Write as many sentences as you can. Okay? Very nice. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson. Today we learned the first thing, how much and how many. The second thing, listen to a conversation. Uh, number three, to write about eating habits. So those are the references that we used. Students book, teacher's guide, audio for the book, full blast two, uh, and also Google Clips, Clip Arts if you want to use them to help you studying, it's beautiful. Uh, if you want more information, those are the contacting numbers, the accounts, the website for AIN website and for Tatweer Company for Educational Services. So this is the end of our lesson, as I said before. I hope I see you next time. This is Sultan Shahrani. Goodbye, everyone.